and welcome to an art time lapse video. In this video, I'll be drawing my raptor Draco Strix Rocky hunting a deer with his rider Scott. So, this image turns out to be a little violent. There's no blood or contact or anything, but it's pretty implied. So, if you're uncomfortable with that, um, I guess you shouldn't watch this video. I initially had trouble getting Scott the, the right size, like usual, but that size reference that you'll see me flicking back and forth to is really helpful, and I'm glad I drew it. I think I end up making him too small anyway, and I resize him just with the lasso tool because I was lazy. Yeah, there we go. I've tried drawing this picture a couple times, but I was never really satisfied with it. Like, I couldn't come up with a good pose or a good composition, even though I'm not that skilled with making compositions, but... I um, actually drew out this pose that Rocky is in in a sketchbook, but not with Rocky, just like a random raptor of some sort. And I decided, well, it looks pretty good, so I guess I can use it. Which is, I guess, what sketchbooks are for, which is just experimenting and stuff. The prompt for this, I kind of messed it up with the setting. You see, I'm drawing them in a field, but the prompt was to draw your Draco Strix hunting with their rider in like the woods or in a heavily forested area where they don't have room to fly. So they'll be hunting a terrestrial animal just by running around trying to catch it. But I hope it'll be okay for the the prompt because my Strix, he can't fly anyway, he's a runner type. So it doesn't really matter where he is because he can't fly anyway. I have something important to share and that is that I am starting a new job on July 20th if everything goes well with the pre-screening and stuff. So I may slow down with uploads. I mean, I've been trying to keep them up every Wednesday. I record them way ahead of time and I schedule them to be released every Wednesday. But I'm not sure if this job is going to sap my motivation to draw or my energy or whatever because I've been unemployed for the past few months but so I've had time to draw but I hope that this job will give me some peace of mind when it comes to money and stuff so yeah fun job talk adult talk <laughs> anyway this grass was annoying to draw in <laughs> it took a long time but I think it turned out okay. I initially draw everything in black, but I do color the lines. And I looked into some art to try and get inspiration on like a style that I wanted to try to replicate or just something to inspire me to draw. And because I haven't been drawing for a few weeks, but I discovered that I really like the look of colored line art along with black line art and if you noticed in my last videos I've just been coloring like some of the line art 
just like a random color kind of and not going with what is actually being colored and I decided I wasn't really satisfied with that like I felt it was really lazy of me and it turns out okay but it's not the best and I can do better so I'm trying to branch out a little bit with art with um these ARPGs I've been joining, they all require you to draw backgrounds and stuff, and I'm not the best at drawing backgrounds, as you can see, but... But I'm trying, and I guess that's what matters. See, this grass was really boring to draw because it's just like a big open field area. I'm also trying a new brush because I finally figured out why my oil brushes, my flat brushes and stuff, they weren't working on Clip Studio Paint. And I fixed it. And so now I'll be drawing or coloring with that more than the normal watercolor brush because I like the texture it gives the picture. I was really pleased with how Rocky's clouded slash Merle came out. Like it actually looks kind of like how the import looks. It doesn't just look like a blended mess. Sorry about the flashing by the way. I. I struggle to remember where all of Rocky's spots are, so I have to edit. Like, not edit, but look back and forth a lot. I think eventually I put the, the import at the bottom. Yeah, there we go. So I can just look at it while I draw or color. But, yeah. It makes it a lot easier. <laughs> and it doesn't take as much time. This is a really big deer. I figure that the world that Draco Strix reside in have like a lot of megafauna because of the very large bird dragons that have to eat too, you know? I originally wanted to base it off of like an Irish elk, but I was a little nervous about drawing the antlers correctly. And I was also just lazy, so. I just kind of stuck with a normal deer. I wanted it to look kind of foggy, like, like maybe it was just about daytime so the dew is forming on the leaves by, by fog and stuff. I find that shading really changes the look of the piece because like you you're drawing it one way and then all of a sudden you're just layering a bunch of color on it and kind of messing it up in a way but at the same time making it look better. I also forgot a few things. I forgot Rocky's um, f 
faded looks and I forgot to add these fireflies needed for the seasonal bonus which I haven't been getting but whatever so that's why I added it but um yeah here I forgot Rockies it's called scorched and faded so I added that and that's the final piece so I hope you like this and um, I'll see you in the next one, maybe. Goodbye.